Hi Dreamers, welcome back um, to episode 7. This is breaking news. Um, it is hot off the presses. It is a, uh, about a week old at this point, maybe, well, it's it's been a week since it's happened and the development has happened within that week. So it's been pretty, pretty close. Um, majority of stuff has happened in the past like two days. Um, I'm exhausted because so many updates have been coming through, like crazy, like rapid fire. And you're probably all wondering, first of all, this outfit, hi, um, I am don't really care about the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, go Orioles, Orioles, I guess. Um, but I just like baseball men. I mean, go baseball. They're cute or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is just the outfit of the day. So you just watched a bunch, well, a clip and a bunch of pictures of a... 50th birthday party of one other than my aunt. Um, this is how we're sitting today because we're tired and this breaking news is hot and spicy. I just wish I had like another hot chocolate to just sit because it's tea filled. Um, so here's the thing is that in this video, you can see a woman coming through the door in the beginning. That would be my aunt Robin behind her, my uncle Ed. The two people that come out the door, the first woman is my mother. The second one behind her is my Aunt Tanya. This is my uh, Aunt Robin's 50th birthday party. And the reason that this matters is that they went to a bar and that's where the pictures are taken. It's downtown Nashville. They went to a bar. My aunt took a photo at a perfect angle for me because at this angle, you can see people behind my mother who all are not social distancing and nobody's wearing a mask. Now, I totally understand if you are drinking or eating and you don't wear a mask, because like, unless you have one of those gross looking ones where you like put the straw up your mask, um, then like you can't drink or eat your mask. I understand that, but there's no trade-off. If you are, or there is a trade-off, if you are, drinking and eating something, you have to make sure you're six feet at least apart from the next person. And they weren't. You can tell from this angle that there's people like almost directly behind them. They're not six feet apart. And that leads me to why I'm making this video. Both my parents, my father, my mother, and my sister who lives in the house, my sister Faith, all tested positive for COVID. And I believe they got their test on Tuesday, if not Wednesday. Results came like Friday. Um, today's Tuesday. And it's been a stressful week, like I said. Like things have been happening like this, not even just because of the COVID, because of my life. I had a sty. All of this crap was going on with me. And then all of this stuff with my family and the drama and all of it. Um, and I stay out of it. But like this is important to me because I... I want my parents to trip on a banana. I don't want them dead. Um, Cause as much as I despise them, uh, uh, death is something I don't wish on anyone. Um, and I've been giving my prayers and my well wishes to them, uh, whatnot. Um, so here's why I'm making this video is because my mother and my aunt should never have gone to Nashville. My Aunt Robin, I know her opinions about this global pandemic and how much she does not care that there's a global pandemic going on. And if she tries to ignore the fact that she thinks that, then she can just refer to the picture that she took on Labor Day weekend, which I will put up in just a moment, uh, of her doing a Luau Labor Day themed party. So she can refer to that photo and she has a job and my cousin Savannah also has a job who is also in those photos at the bar of she had they both have jobs and I don't know if Savannah's back at her job but I know my aunt Robin's still working and they get tested for COVID like three times a week and they're I'm pretty positive they're rapid tests 
um, because they have to know right then and there if they can go into the thing. Let me tell you something about those rapid tests. One, they're not accurate. Um, and two, they, I believe, and I, this one I can't quote on. This first one I can quote on because I've talked, uh, my sister has talked to doctors, um, her doctors about the tests and how crappy they are. You can look up the difference between rapid tests and like the regular tests, um, that take like two to three days for the results to come in. Uh, those tests are way more accurate and yeah. The second reason is because I'm pretty sure, and again, you can't really quote me on this one, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty positive, that they're not antibody tests. So whether or not my aunt's negative or not is besides the point because she still could be a carrier. You have to get an antibody test to see if you're a carrier of COVID because you can be a carrier and not have symptoms and give it to other people. And... If it's not my Aunt Robin, it could be my cousin Savannah. It could be my cousin Ashley. Could my It could be my Uncle Ed. It could be my uh, cousin's boyfriend, Zach. It could be any one of them um, that could be a carrier. Um, now, they went to a bar. We're pretty positive they got it at this bar. But regardless, it's irresponsible. They are max 30 years difference than me. I know what I'm doing. I know to wear a mask everywhere. I know to social distance myself. I know where not to go, aka bars and clubs, where I know people are irresponsible. I could go on and on about all these pictures of gay men, and I'm not calling people out, but like, there's a certain point where like, like Bryce Hall's having parties with Tana Mojo at his house, um, filled with people. And I've seen gay people like just so happen to like go to gay clubs and like there's no bot like I want to go to a gay club so bad. Uh, I know gays love gay clubs. They love dancing, whatever. I love doing that. And these aren't stereotypes like I mean, they might be but like I like dancing and I'm gay, but like some other gay person might not. The reason I'm saying this is because I just have genuinely seen a lot of photos and I've seen it in person in Denver of gay clubs packed and it's not just gay people it is straight people too i've seen restaurants packed no social distancing they're not, they're like they're wearing masks but they're not social distancing you can't have one without the other especially that one i'd rather you not wear a mask and be six feet apart from someone regardless speaking of i'm going to show you this clip i'll come back and explain she should put her mask on i got very seriously it is the right to receive a free service for you. I know that. Put your mask on. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so that clip was a clip of my mother at Ikea um, in line to go inside. There's a line just like Walt Disney World and she wasn't putting on her mask and I was like, put on your mask. And she was getting mad at me and so was my dad. And I was like, put on your mask. And she wasn't gonna put it on. But because once she had to go inside, she was like, I'll put it on once I get inside because she's forced to do it. This is the problem is because I know my mother was irresponsible before she went to go see my Aunt Robin. I know my Aunt Robin was irresponsible before. So I know my Aunt Tanya should have known. My mother should have known. My Uncle Ed, I think, might have been the person to invite them. There was a post on Facebook about him saying how difficult it was to surprise her, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't know if he invited them or they invited themselves because I know my mother said that they were going to Nashville um, when she and I and the rest of the clan, the four of us, drove to Denver. They were like, yeah, we're going to go see Aunt Robin for her 50th. And I don't know where that came from. I don't know if my mom decided to just do that or my Uncle Ed asked them to come. Regardless, they A, should have never come. I mean, really, that's the, that's the thing is it's not worth it to travel 
and know that you're gonna be irresponsible in a global pandemic where you could potentially catch a virus. Specifically because the majority of them, my mother especially, my Aunt Tanya talks to my mother a lot, um, and my Aunt Robin a little less, knows about the situation with my other sister who had a health scare as well because my niece is sick. Um, but my sister, and it's all over, like you can find it, this isn't new news, um, went through breast cancer and it was a stage three and she um, just finished radiation and she has an immunocompromised um, immune system and she's doing fine, like she's getting her blood cells back up, but they're still shoddy, you know, she's, she's trying to be healthy and trying to get that stuff done and still trying to work on her own business and things like that. And because she's immunocompromised, she like could potentially die a lot easier because she's got that underlying health condition. And so knowing my mother goes around Elizabeth a lot, who's my sister who had breast cancer, it's just irresponsible. And again, Anton knew the situation as well for them to go and then come back. And then my sister coming to hang out with uh, um, my, my other sister and my sister who lives in the home was trying to social distance from my mother for two weeks. It obviously didn't happen. Small house, small quarters. Um, they're bound to catch it. So my mother, my father, my sister all got COVID. We're pretty sure they got it from the bar. But regardless, my aunt or my cousins, my uncle, they could have been carriers. They could have given it to them. Um, and it's just irresponsible. And then uh, the night that we knew that they, my parents had tested COVID. So my parents tested uh, positive for COVID like on Thursday night and then Friday morning my sister tested positive for COVID so they got their tests like my mom got one hers in the morning and then my sister got hers like later in the evening so they came at two different points oh okay so when they got these negative or these positive tests excuse me um we started calling my aunt Tanya my aunt Tanya had gotten a rapid test she said she was negative and we knew that it was garbage because if my mom tested positive, my mother was in a car with my aunt for hours, like nine hours from Florida to Tennessee. And it's ridiculous. The fact that she's not going to go probably get another test. I don't know what's happening with her. I can't say anything about her. But she needs to go get another test, a real one, not a rapid one. And she needs to social distance herself from her husband and from her kids. It's irresponsible to walk around knowing that you may have it because she is sick, knowing that she may have it and make up excuses like she had bad tuna. Um, that was something that my uncle had said. And if she had bad tuna, girl, you have bad tuna. But like, because you're more sick than just a bad tuna accident, it's probably COVID. Um, and those rapid tests don't work. Go get a real test. Don't be irresponsible. Walking around not knowing whether you carry it or not. Um, it's terrifying. And then so we texted her as soon as it had happened. And we were trying to call her, see if she was okay, whatever. Like, see, like, we need to get her another test. Because, like I said, we're the COVID police. It's irresponsible for you to walk around in the world in a global pandemic, trying to spread this disease rather than kill it. Um, and so my aunt texted back to uh, to my sister, and my sister sent the message to us saying, I am in contact with my sister and your father, which is rude and disrespectful and should never have been something that you had said. We were trying to call you, we were trying to help you, and you not taking anybody's help is irresponsible and Belligerent, uh, bellig what is the word? Belligerent, that's right, belligerent. It's just awful. Um, and to my Aunt Robin, who only knows a little bit about my Aunt Tanya and her situation at the moment, she, I feel like it's very much a cover-up. My Aunt Robin is saying stuff that I feel like she doesn't know much about, and I don't know much about their text conversations, and... I told you, I don't want any assumptions in this series. I don't know. I don't want any what ifs. I want to cover all my bases and make sure, you know, everything is fine. But I know the facts in this case. Fact is, they all went to a bar. My sister got sick or my aunt got sick. And then my parents tested for COVID. My sister tested for COVID. Somebody in Nashville, whether it be at that bar or whether it be in my family, has COVID. And my Aunt Robin needs to go get an antibody test, same as my cousin Savannah, my cousin Ashley, my Uncle Ed, and my cousin's boyfriend. 
Um, because again, wouldn't you rather walk around knowing that you don't have it rather than walk around knowing that you do have it? And if you do have it, you should be in your house for two weeks or going to the hospital, getting it checked up, getting it cured. Today's Tuesday, September 29th. My sister and my parents are doing worse. Uh, today is the worst day so far for my sister. I just talked to her on the phone. And it's just belligerent. Now, I am talking in circles. Um, but I do want to show you one more clip before I get out of this video. Two days in I don't know. No, I heard, I heard well, I don't know what's what in different states. Okay, well, there's not really a normal in a global pandemic. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to go away. So that clip was my mom being a little unaware of what happens with COVID tests and everything because I thought I was positive a couple months ago. Cause I got sick and I worked at Starbucks and I was like, oh no, like I got it from Starbucks from an, uh, like a customer or whatever. Um, but eventually my test came back negative and I was fine. It was stress induced, but I still got the test. I still socially distanced. That's why I was like, okay, go away. Cause they were going to bed and I had neat. And I was like, okay, I'll wait till you guys go in the room, go to bed. I'll social distance myself. I'll go to the kitchen, grab food, wipe, anything down that I touch and then walk back in my room because even if I didn't have it it's better that I force myself to pretend that I did have it until proven otherwise so as a 20 year old I'm very responsible and I know what I'm doing as a 50 year old yeah you're way past due late sorry not sorry about it um all three of them, and I'm not splitting my mother in a different category just because she's my mother all three of them my mother my aunt Tanya and my my aunt robin they all should know better and y'all need to get your act together and stop acting like you're six years old and can do whatever the hell you want because even a six-year-old can catch covid this is a global pandemic pandemic it has been eight months we've known about this and we the responsible good people of this world are trying to get rid of this we are trying to get rid of it. And it's really, really annoying seeing my own family go out and catch this disease. Now, I despise my parents regardless. I want them to trip on a banana, not die. And so all I have to say is my family is belligerent. They're disrespectful. They're rude. They need to get their act together and they need to stop walking around acting like they're immune or there's not a global pandemic going on. Same with every other human being on this planet. Bryce Hall and his mansion parties, um, gays going on vacation. I saw that tweet. Thank you, Tyler Oakley. Um, you know, the straights in Denver going to a place called View House or even going to bars downtown here, not social distancing or wearing masks. The establishments that have people social distancing, incredible. Now, the majority of them all have, like, or we have a mandated mask rule, and I know a lot of other places do. Um, the social distancing rule is not strictly enforced, but it's there. Um, some restaurants, like, haven't been spreading people out, and some have, you know, like, two tables between one family and the next. Make You are a responsible human being at the age of two. You're a responsible human being at the age of 82. Know what to do. Know to wear a mask. I saw a literal three-year-old wearing a mask. Because the, like, the parents had made a fun activity, I guess, or something out of it, I assume. Because they were wearing a cute little homemade mask. It was adorable. And I was like, good for them. They know what they're doing. They're social distancing. They're wearing a mask. That is bare minimum. I don't understand how hard it is. You want to go to a club, pump up your speaker, grab a drink from Walmart while you're wearing a mask and social distancing. I wouldn't recommend getting drinks from Walmart, but 
they sell White Claws, I guess. I mean, good for whoever wants a White Claw, but that's not where I would get alcohol if I were drinking. Um, but anyways, turn off the speaker, grab alcohol, grab like one or two friends that you know have been being safe, check the temperature, whatever, as they walk in your house and party with four people. Have a game night, um, go to the drive-in, um, all of these things, there are things you can do in the world where you don't social distance or where you do social distance and, and you can wear a mask or hell, if you don't want to wear a mask, like I said, go to the drive-in. You don't have to wear a mask. You can literally just social distance to their cars and you'll be chill unless you get out of your car and go to the stand, wear a mask. I don't have to explain this a million damn times. I don't have to talk in circles because that's what I'm literally doing. This clip is 19 minutes. Like this video shouldn't have been this long to explain the fact that three grown women should know what they're doing in the world. People should know what they're doing in the world. If you're watching this video, please don't be irresponsible and come for me. Please do because I don't care what you say about this video about me coming for my, for my ignorant, belligerent family because you can do it and you can say all you want. But my parents have COVID and my dad is almost 70 years old. He has respiratory problems and a deviated septum. He could die. He could die. Um, my mother, she hasn't gotten out of bed. She's lost her taste of smell and taste. Uh, a, sm a taste. That's right. Taste and smell. And she has barely eaten and she's just been in bed. And if you don't, the couple of things that are dangerous in this is that if you don't drink enough water, it's bad. If you don't walk around and get up, it's also bad. If you just lay down, it's also bad. You can really kill your things if you don't sleep up, if you don't stand up and walk around, if you don't drink enough water, it's bad. I shouldn't have to say that. I don't care if it's a lesser strand. I don't care if it's a greater strand. You shouldn't have gotten it in the first place. You really shouldn't have gotten it in the first place. Their ages range from, my Aunt Tanya's like 37, 38, I don't know. My mother, she's 56 and my Aunt Robin just turned 50. Those age ranges are like millennial to baby boomer. And there are spectrums of millennials that are social distancing and wearing a mask and there's some that aren't. There's some baby boomers who are smart and some that aren't. This isn't a generational thing. Some people are doing it and some people aren't. But out of the three of them, one of them should have said, up, said something. One of them should have stood up and been like, we're not going to a bar. At least bare minimum. One of my aunt or my mother could have said, let's not go to Nashville. That's irresponsible of us to travel in a global pandemic. And yeah. Um, I will say you will see some clips in a future episode of my birthday party slash going away party slash graduation party. I had a party in a global pandemic. I told my mother that I didn't want a lot of people there. She listened mostly. Um, I tried to social distance as much as possible. I washed my hands as much as possible, wore protection as much as possible. I went in my room a couple of times and I knew who I was messing with and I knew how to take photos socially distant. I knew how to be socially distant. I was not gonna get in the pool with them, um, et cetera, et cetera, because I am not catching COVID. I am being responsible and it is not that hard. I hang out with the friends here in Denver that I know that are being safe and responsible. And I just, I don't know what to tell you. I'm pissed, I'm angry that people can be so belligerent and irresponsible. And this is a PSA, not just to my family, but to everyone out there that you need to keep safe for yourself and for other people. So if you are selfish, care about yourself. If you're selfless, care about other people. You know what I mean? Like there's someone that you could care for about not getting this disease, whether it be yourself or other people. So. Don't go to clubs, don't go to bars, don't have parties, don't not wear a mask, don't not social distance. Be responsible, be responsible. And remember, it really does all start with an idea. <laughs> Dream big guys.